Since most of you guys seem to enjoy my video of my top 5 most haunted places in Canada, I decided I would go ahead and do one on the USA. Like certain locations in the USA that have haunting, you know, um, ghosts and stuff. Like haunted places in the world. So I thought, you know what? Let me get started with, you know, the USA next. So I thought I would do one based on the USA. Like it could be in different, you know, states in the US. Which of course there's 50 states, obviously. But since this is just my opinion on these haunting places... This is going to be me stating the top five most haunted places in the USA. Now, I just want to let you know that this is just my opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine too. So, anyways, I think we should get started, shall we? The Velisca X Murder House. This was, this is located in Velisca, Iowa, well, which is in the USA. There is a really messed up, well history with this now however though there is this really big house in a Valeska X murder house in Iowa that had turned out to be haunted where a man with his wife and a bunch of other children were mysteriously killed with by an unknown man with an axe it is really unknown who or what killed them but of course, it happened in 1912 on, between June 9th and June 10th. That is when the crime had took place. And they have no idea who the murderer of these people are. And, and it's still being a mystery to this very day. However, though, when it comes to this tour of the Velisca X murder house, some people have claimed to have witnessed um, seeing... Um, you know, paranormal stuff, which basically involves, you know, them seeing children running around and a man who um, had the axe. And most people believe that this man who had the axe in there is the murderer. However, though, there are no, there is, it's not really confirmed per se, but that's from what a lot of people have been, um, thinking that, um, that, you know, the man with the axe or something who believed to be the murderer of it. So, well, this that's just um, all that it is. Although we are not too sure exactly when, when these hauntings start happening. But I think it started happening when people have started becoming, you know, more um, paranormal investigators of course this um place had been used for a couple of shootings in the past this is a haunting place in Iowa so if you live in Iowa you're you probably may consider doing this if you're into ghost hunting anyways here's the next one the White House now most of you guys are probably thinking Lion Queen what is so haunting about the White House that's where the president lives well yeah, he's not really, well, I guess it's not really live, but that's where the president works. So, this place is pretty much located in Washington, D.C. In, I think it's on 600, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. So, this place was built in, the eight, in 1800, which of course it's been around for ages, to be honest. Now, I'm not going to get really too political, but to have some paranormal thoughts that have happened been around that time. So, with that being said, um, there is a couple of paranormal stuff, although some of it is kind of confusing. And some of them is not really, um, really stated what's going on. But one of them being that people have caught um, soldiers marching around the White House you know, during the 1960s or 70s, although it is not really confirmed if that's actually the case or not. Although locals have witnessed or have said that they've seen that those, you know, soldiers marching around the White House and disappearing when they're done. However, it is unclear if it's actually, actually true or not. 
or if that's actually the case or whatever. So for those who, you know, in the area where the White House is, you know, built and all, if you have considered, you know, going to visit the president or probably with seeing some paranormal thoughts, then this place might be for you. And the next one I am going to say right now is another haunting story is involving Abraham Lincoln, who was in his bedroom from one of the presidents actually said that he saw his ghost there. Although one thing I could definitely say right now, it is um unclear if that paranormal would even still exist to this very day or whatever. However, though, that's up to you to decide. So I think we should get going with the next one. The Eastern State Penitentiary. This was a pretty popular but pretty dark, disturbing, well, prison that was pretty much made in the U.S. West A. in Philadelphia. Via in, yeah, Philadelphia. And this place was opened in 1829, although the construction started in 1821. So it had been active since until 19... 19- 71. So it's the most famous, well, penitentiary in the U.S. And this, you may think it's a castle. Well, it, due to the structure in that, it's actually a prison. It's basically a prison where prisoners are forced to, you know, eat, sleep, work out, pretty much doing everything while isolated. Although the cells and stuff that have been around. There is a lot of history that is regarding, you know, the whole cell blocks. Like, you know, there's like men and women being separated, etc. So, with that being said and that being the case, it's a pretty dark um, history that involved it. So, it, it did appear in Most Haunted Live and, of course, it, however, became, you know... Contact with supernatural beings in, you know, PlayStation 2 and the Suffering Frame game. So, with that being said, the history of this, well, I could definitely say it's a pretty good, mu- it's turned into a museum now. And you guys can, you know, if you're living around Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, you might be able to, you know, check out this place. However, though, there is some haunted stuff such as... Well, there's some paranormal stuff that has goes on. And that's exactly um, what is going on, as always. So, there is, you know, people, you know, ghostly figures, crackling noises, loud banging on doors, etc. Many reports who have, have reported hearing all that in the Easter State Penitentiary. However, though... Some people and locals believe that it, the whole place is paranormal with past victims who were in the served their time in the Eastern State Penitentiary for their crimes. Now, this was back in the day when um, when prisons became more more you know common because you know it was really old back in the day and it was abandoned back then. Although it serves as a museum now, so people can go and learn about history about it. I did think I remember learning of someone about this place back then, back in the day, but I haven't really um said, don't really remember much from it. So I could definitely say right now that this is definitely one of the places that if you're a ghost hunter, I really recommend um checking, you know, this place out if you haven't. If I ever were to go to the U.S., like in Pennsylvania, I definitely would go to the Eastern State Penitentiary. So, anyway, with that being said, let's get on with the next one. This high school is located in Idaho, a security camera in the in the Pocatello High School. Now, however, though, this school was pretty, pretty haunted in my eyes from what I have read up. So... Basically, what this is, it's a high school security camera captured a translucent figure 
going down a hallway in and out of a bathroom when the school was closed for winter break in 2014. You thought that maybe this might have appeared, you know, sometime years ago or something? Well, I really have no idea, to be honest, since I don't go to that school. I never have gone to it, so that's honestly something. Because after, you know... No, everyone came back from school for winter break from winter break. People have report hearing noises in the conversation as well as the sound of a piano inside the school's otherwise empty feeder. It's really hard to say if it was past somebody who died at the school or something, but there's not really much what we know about it. So I could definitely say right now that this is definitely one of the story that one of these um stories that honestly I kind of am mixed about that. So I don't know if this is actually true or not, but this is definitely one I can definitely say you guys if you're living in Idaho or something and want to do ghost hunting, this school would probably be best to go when, you know, when there's no school, you know, for the kids going on. So that's definitely that. I don't know if the haunting is still continuing at that school to this day, but let me know in the comments. The Reverly Hill Sanatorium. Welp, this opened from July 26, 1910, and it closed in 1961. This is located did, did pretty much in, in the neighborhood of Louisville, Kentucky. Now, this place was a pretty was pretty much a formal mall sanatorium located in Weverly Hills. However, there is a haunting history with the place if you guys make any sense. Now, Weverly Hills was now purchased was purchased by Thomas Miss Miss H Hayes in 1883 as the Hayes family home. However, though, it does have a dark history, basically due to the constant needs of repairs of destructions and that, it turns out that, 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 you know, the place as well, they needed more beds so that people would not be turned away due to lack of space. However, though, though, there was a lot of stuff, like people died in there due to them being, you know, ill and stuff. However, though, there were some paranormal stuff where, they would hear ghostly screams, etc. However, there were some haunted... Did I think there was like a video where they captured a three-foot-tall young boy named Tim. Although the hauntings of it, it seems to be quite, um, quite confusing because you don't really know, know what really went on. But this was like serve as a tubular colosis hospital, I think. That's what... It used to be back in in the day. So with that being said, the ghostly screams and stuff, they probably might have been from the victims who had died. Although it is really not, not really sure, especially for that. I definitely would have to say it is definitely one of those old hospitals that they used to have many years ago. Although it's no longer existent, so... With that being said, it is definitely one of these haunting places in the USA, as well as the other ones I have talked about. The building is pretty much massive. Like you're seeing on the picture, that's how massive it is. It's a pretty massive, big place. And even though there are still haunting places and haunted stuff in this place that you're seeing... However, it is unclear, though, as to, you know, what went down or something. Or what appears to be, you know, some paranormal stuff. However, though, we are still not sure to this day, day who's in there or what's going on in there today. But for those who live near the Beverly Hills Sanatorium and you want to take a look at it, if you're ghost hunters, feel free to, you know, go check out this place. Now, as you can see, that's just pretty much all the store, the stuff I have listed today that are haunted in the USA. So if you have any ones that I missed, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I will definitely check them out. 
So what did you guys personally think? Do you agree with me? Do you not? Also, let me know what you all think about these haunted places in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to leave this video a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. We're in the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the outro because I'm out.